welcome to the channel. I'm Teresa. Today we're going to make a beautiful DIY wall mirror. The items you're going to need are any type of round mirror. You can use any size mirror you want to use with this DIY. You'll need backing for your wall mirror. I'll be using plywood and styrofoam. You'll need a hanging clip. I'll be using tacky glue and the E6000 or stronger glue. We're going to be using the spoon heads from these Dollar Tree spoons. We'll be using these silver plastic paper card holders from the Dollar Tree. You need your wire cutter, scissors, glue gun. So let's get started. Now the first thing you want to do is put your base together using your E6000 or stronger glue. Make sure you use lots of your strong glue and then we'll just set this aside. Now the next thing you want to do is snip off your spoon heads using your wire cutter. Then you're going to glue two of your spoon heads together. For this DIY, I used 72 spoon heads. So your spoon heads will look like this. Now the next thing we want to do is cut the plastic table card holders in half using your wire cutter, twist it, snip off the ends, cut it in half. Now this technique that I'm using for this DIY wall mirror, I've used this before for DIY candle holders. My candle holders were still up, so I just pulled all of these pieces off of my DIY candle holder and I'm going to use them for this wall mirror. So now we're going to glue the plastic silver pieces onto the base of the DIY. I've already started the first row and I told you you could use any type of mirror that you wanted to. I'm using a mirror that I purchased at the thrift store. Now I'm going to be using the glue gun for demonstration purposes. Now once you have your first row on there, when you start your second row, you're not going to place your plastic piece directly behind each one of these on the front row. You're going to place them like this. Right in the center of the groove of the first pieces. Now each end of these do not have to touch. They just need to be in the center of each groove as you're going around. Now when you start your next row, you'll just continue to place your silver pieces 
right in between the grooves and your pieces should line up once you finish line up all the way out and you'll have that weave pattern now I'm going to finish this up offline and I'll come back and show you what it looks like by the way I haven't glued this mirror on I'm going to show you what it looks like without the mirror back in a moment now that we've glued all of the silver pieces together this is what your project should look like all of the rows are even and if you look closely so I'm going to see if I can zoom in a bit you can see the weave pattern that's how you want yours to to look I'm going to zoom back out Now I've already added uh, most of the spoons on here. This was very easy to do. I just glued the spoons to the base of the DIY. Very easy. So now I'm going to glue the mirror in. I'll come back, show you the entire DIY. <music> 